welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series and this video I want to go to the teams admin center so we click we were on our office.com we clicked on the team admin uh, the admin center or now we are going to the teams admin center they used to be skype and they moved and now it's teams so we are in there it's loading all right so in team this is the back end we can manage everything um, it's the dashboard it says Microsoft team upgrade so if you see we are beginning the capability sky for business online into bringing a Microsoft team to deliver a single hub for teamwork so it's an full swing deploying team workload uh, you have a user search so you can use uh, search a user both of them show up you can click on view users how many are there and I thought that everybody will be there but it looks like that's not the case only the guys um, that have the active uh, subscription are in teams let's get back to the dashboard the next one is team user activity you see I was not using it back on January 1st was the first time when I you know kind of downloaded on my phone and by January 2nd there are six users team usage like what they are doing only one active user on January 2nd today was 4 so today we did something so it's a little bit behind I think in and there is my favorite thing admin training for teams I just found it so training the word training is very attractive to me I love to um, learn new things so team device usage Android yep I have an Android phone so it's showing up as this if we install it on Windows so like in the next few days um, day or more the other should uh, the Windows device should be there as well <clears throat> learn more on how to upgrade yeah, these are hopefully our videos uh, but they are Microsoft document links probably and those are the training so admin training I am subscribed to their channel office 365 for uh, sorry on mechanics as well so it's a video Windows desktop client is video so these are all videos let's click on uh, desktop client video so you have a PowerPoint deck as well, but they ah they they are. I don't like uh, such long videos when they're just talking about theories and then they. You see. So it's not an action kind of thing, uh, like I think it's more technical, in depth thing. So that's good let's get back uh, there so <clears throat> this is the home page I'm gonna go and watch these videos in my free time if they are really long like 20 30 minutes like 10 15 minutes is good enough and this video is going to be a large one I'm gonna just quickly go through everything it's already like fourth minute so this is the first thing is team and then manage teams in manage I see the charter name so I can I'm gonna add another one this time I'm gonna make sales department sales team yeah it's a private now let's make it public like then I'm gonna make another one add a IT IT department make it private let's do the private thing and the admin is the owner on everyone alright and let's create another one for 
Station Desktop Sport. Oh, it's a private. Okay. So I have like few teams now. All I have to do is just go and add user probably. So again, if you click one of them, you have four buttons over here. Like, oh sorry. And it gives you what their conversation team members can edit, send message, yes or not. Delete, send messages or yes or not. And then there is channel option. Uh, can you can they add new channel? Uh, removing tabs moving connectors and removing apps we saw every, all of these in the in the teams overview so uh, we can turn off the options for what the users over there can do <clears throat> we already seen that so we don't need to concern with this right now we're gonna keep everything uh, <clears throat> uh, like all the fun parts intact we don't have to go and close anything so these are all the uh, columns that we can turn on and off from here so we don't have to because we want to I, I like as much information as possible so it says description status so you see this one is active there are already people and it has 16 team members how they are not active like users which are the use I want to see add it it's not going to show me the team members profile public conversation and channel so I cannot actually probably I can if I click on the name it's doing so it says charter private or public that's the mail address so everybody's a member all of my user regardless they are members so I think it's kind of slow or latency issues or it's you know slow to pick up uh, but you can see all of the members are in there whether they can log in or not that's a totally different question we tried with Obama and we were not able to write or we were able to I think yeah we were able to yes so that that's um, like it, it gave us an error but then Obama was able to log in I remember now okay so all the members are in there this is the channel what channels they have in there and we see we created that group if you remember earlier and then the settings again we settings that we can change from the main is just a summary team policies we can define a policy here and I did see the global policy in one of uh, when I was poking around so let's see what the policy is this is the name description discover private teams and create private teams that's the policy can they or can they not uh, about the private otherwise everything will be public one is the default policy if we uh, want to add we have a very limited uh, team policy we can just name it so uh, name anything description and turn one off or both off whatever you want, want to do let's go with the devices phones <clears throat> so in the phones it's not showing up the phone that I have that's the Android it's shown somewhere else uh, but these phones are the internet protocol phone ip phones and devices like handset etc that uh, uh, we have to you know we call each other there are other softwares as well uh, like uh, phone software but this one especially within teams like how they want to con contact live <laughs> and you can configure their profile and then add or remove profile name if you click click add what's the device what's the timeout was the lock pin EDC network setting and all that this is pretty advanced stuff profile name we can set a profile and we give it different settings that this device when applied this uh, uh, profile will go like we don't have to go and we can set up a device and add the settings for it or we can make a profile and as we make the setting once and assign the profile to that device so that's the idea let's go to the location in location we have two tab that is reporting labels so okay this one is interesting 
So you have like a, we talked about the resource mailbox like you have a room and you set up an email to it and whenever you send you know so a physical room gets its own email and it becomes a resource so this one is that uh, subnet uh, um, I haven't done networking yet but subnetting is like uh, when in home networks when we connect all our devices connect to just one thing and it's part of a one group but in uh, offices they like to uh, for security reason as well they like to keep different devices on different levels so the uh, a policy can be applied to all of them and you know at once for example there's a floor it has all the agents they have different access and different policies for security reason you don't want them to go and get the file server that is for executive or for corporate so you know so you have an executive branch you have an hr then you have corporate so you keep them on different networks within a network by subnetting like they uh, have their own different ip ranges so this is talking about that uh, for example in, even on our floor we have two sides of the building so what they can do is the morning shift has has their own subnet and all that and the evening side has their own and by that they can make a label which is easier rather than to see figure out hey this ip should be at this side or that side they can range an ip label it so when they look at the label they know hey, okay this ip this computer belongs on the east side of the building or the west side of the building so very easy you can obviously you have to upload the data file location data file which will have all the ip address uh, against their uh, desk id emergency address like uh, so this one is like um, what is the location that you want emergency personnel to respond to i think this is what it's talking about like uh, if it's an emergency and they need to find that person then you know rather than to go run around the floor calling the name they can just go to a uh, you know a place and there's a person that they can tell and then they can locate the person for you i think this is what that is users my favorite tab right so so what it's saying is that user you can change the audio conferencing setting edc but if you want to add you or user manager uh, assign them licenses go to this tab that's in the uh, office main tab so if i click on ali uh, oh okay it takes me the i can send a message to him and i hope let's send him a message Mobile link pick an app i don't have any so i cannot i can email him uh direct status i think this is if uh no i have the teams so i can send a message through teams or skype let's go with teams and team is already on but logged in with some other guy person oh no it's gonna log me in in the uh web thing i did it or no nope it logged me to the uh the app right here right yep hey please set up a meeting for teams initiation so ali gonna ali or aslan gonna say hey we already did that so we just send them a message we can close it and microsoft team is still running and you will come to receive notification okay thank you let's go there we send them a message seven day activities like we said i said that it's a little bit uh, behind it's not up to the day we did some like send a message message today and i send them the other day so basically it's saying ali did not receive any meeting or calls did not take any call ah this this i think this is the uh, over there for voice i have i i don't have a, nothing for account for voice 
dial out setting so Ali can call any destination in the same country or, or region or Ali is not allowed it, what you want to set and group call pick up add people when he calls search by display or username group call pickup is like uh, I think it's when the phone rings it's him and the other person or the number of people we add here for example if I bill add bill here bill is added apply uh, okay so group call feature <coughs> is basically it gonna ring for Ali then it gonna ring for bell and then it gonna keep going to the next person to the next person because you cannot guarantee with a we saw like if somebody is uh, taking the inventory somebody is doing the inventory somebody is uh, you know helping another user and somebody is on the floor you know setting up a monitor or something so basically if they the if somebody is calling the one uh, the, their number that they need to pick up the call will go through the flow so we can add like five all the five help desk guys and it will ring one by one for them i'm giving an example for the help desk because if, if within a team it will be different like uh, uh, they're working on a project and the uh, our the client needs to talk to them and he's calling the call they're not picking so the call will go to each member one by one and this call delegation like on their behalf so we can add people here as well let's do the call history call history like it will be the data what they receive and what they made policies we saw the global age policy so everything is same if i click on it it's the same thing oops i should not have done that users ali and policies so it's assigned policies and pa policy package is there something nothing educate higher education primary school assigned policy package I'm I'm gonna read about this and then discard so this is the assign is there any other assigned policy all off all on kiosk restricted anonymous access restricted anonymous no recording so there they are going with the global we're gonna continue with that so in user it's just the users and what's the what are this it's again uh, what columns we want to do next we go to the meetings meeting is the fun things right six default policies are in place they are these one we can go and see if they have the same thing kind of allow transcription ip video media byte key okay so these the policies are allow meet now in channel outlook add-on you can add in in the outlook meeting schedule private meetings audio and video what kind cloud recording so they're a little late they send me just they added me IT group okay thank you so see how late they are I think it's been a few days since uh, I made those I no I just did that uh, uh, like oh uh, yeah about 15 minutes ago I made those uh, groups in there and then uh, right here teams I right I made the teams anyways <clears throat> so it's IP video internet protocol video and a cloud recording like our what uh, the recording rather than shared on the local de device it will be sh uh, saved uh, in the cloud and what's the media bit uh, rate screen sharing mode can if they sh choose to share the screen how it's gonna be I did create that yes okay so screen sharing like they're gonna share the whole screen half of it or single application or disable <clears throat> like which uh, which uh, is it disable or is the single application like the application they choose to share 
and if we by accident they click on another tab here here or any other application it will not be shown not tab isn't the same app basically so and another application this is the remote control this so can they allow somebody to take control if they're not in the same location allow an external participant to give a request control this is off by default we're gonna keep it default we don't want anybody outside to get access powerpoint sharing yes whiteboard shared notes everything is on participants and guests so if the participant can be anonymous no they cannot automatically admit people yes everyone since we are not long anonymous so obviously they will not be able to allow dial-in user to bypass the lobby on but we don't have any allow meet now in private meeting yes enable live caption disable but the organization can override allow chat in meetings meeting settings meeting settings are used to control so again in this meeting uh, participant can be anonymous and this is the email invitation and if you remember we did this uh, talk about in the skype one so you see logo url it's a png so it uh, i explained it before and this one is like your legal url and this one is the help so you have, have the help like if somebody is can figure it out how to join it you have a dedicated page and footer so preview invite if we click on it it gonna look like this <clears throat> right so I'm gonna close it This note is important. Insert quality of service markers for real time media traffic. <coughs> KOS basically, um, in the name says quality of service, like how good it was. So, markers are like um, time based. The Like rather than to rely on your feedback based on the markers performance like the from send to receive uh, they measure how good or bad it was <clears throat> select a port or range for each type of real-time media traffic uh, you have to specify the port ranges <clears throat> automatically is will be sniffing the ports or up and down media traffic type starting port ending port videos screen sharing supports are like doors what uh, they can use live event policies is global the same one we have been seeing oh it's different allow scheduling yes allow transcript transcription it's off who can join schedule everyone in the organization who can record an event always record never record organizer can record so you see Sport URL is sport is the live event settings like what you where you want user to turn to get sport third party video distribution provider is off but if I turn it on I have a provider hive or collective whatever and their license and uh, the API key all right so messaging policies again it's default owner can delete sent messages delete send messages is on edit send messages we saw red received user control uh, for example when you send a message and you get the tick in whatsapp that this is this is the read or red receipts so you you know why i saw it so you know you can fight them hey you saw my message but you never replied i know i saw the blue tick right chat is on like if you turn it off they will not be able to chat in the meetings use glyphs gifts in conversation and content trading moderate i don't know what gif is let me search ah it's the emojis gifs 
I didn't know they got <laughs> to write it this like this as well. Oh, I learned something new. Contact trading moderate, like you cannot uh, <coughs> send those stinkies or others. A <coughs> little bit fun. <coughs> um, GIFs. We call them emojis, right? Use memes. They can stickers. URL preview. Preview is the one when you type in the uh, URL. It gives you a little bit description that's the preview and translate messages it will be fun in a few years you're writing something in korean or chinese or you know mandarin they say yes and it gets translated into english allow immersive reader for viewing messages so immersive reader i searched it says that it's something to do with people like me who want to uh, improve their English reading skills send urgent messages using priority notification yes so urgent is in Skype there's like you can put an exclamation mark voice message creation allowed in chats and channels voice message creation okay on mobile devices display favorite channels this this is disable remove user from good chats this is on like you can remove it this happens like if somebody was part of your team and you know because of the their extensive knowledge they are required by another department and or there's an opening and they uh, you know switch uh, uh, departments um, I work in sports so I, I see that hey uh, uh, the sales is very lucrative so I s jumped there um, so my supervisor can remove me from the team so I don't get messages or notification from that group and yeah it's a good thing because it can be a little bit distractive so let's go to the team apps permission policies what are the uh, policies is allow all apps allow specific apps and block all others block specific apps and allow all others block all apps so if i click on specific then i have to go and choose which one right it depends on the company oh, i'm gonna go with the allow third party apps allow all same for things there and tenant apps same for options available set up policies we have two one is exactly the app id and all that so if i click on this nothing is happening so i just uh, search and app pinned apps upload custom apps can they and now move up down so global it's just like how do you want them to be shown in there which one is up and which one is down the other one is again you cannot do anything I'm clicking on them it's just the order they are in there next one is voice and voice has a few tabs numbers or order history phone numbers you can get the phone numbers through them I think can yep location I want uh, one Argentina no <laughs> Let's go with the uh, United States. Number type, what kind of number you want? You want a subscriber, uh, toll, toll free, call queue, and all that. If I get the subscriber number, search by location. Let's put Columbus. Right? Add a location quantity one. So can I go next? Please don't charge me okay <laughs> okay country or region United States address and did the address manually can I put for just the zip code I don't want to put my address so I'm gonna just cancel out of it but basically I think this is the one you can get the phone get phone numbers like I don't know how you get it who provide for it is it free or is it um, they're gonna charge you for it so basically it's the number people call 
but you get that call on your sky or sorry in team meetings so for skype i know they give you 60 minutes with the uh, for free or with office subscription and then you have to buy your minutes so that's why i'm not going through with this port uh, if we do the port on, at work too so port is basically the process of um, you have service with at&t and you want to uh, switch your phone to Verizon that's the process of port so basically you are porting your number to Verizon order history all of your orders will be here by order it it could be paid that's why I did not go through <laughs> all right so the next one is direct routing I really have no idea I read the description it's a it's something with you know more advanced or something like connecting your things so for my purpose it's i'm really not sure call park policies so allow call park is off call pick up start of range and the range park timeout second so park timeout i don't like it and this is the default policy but basically call park is um I'm an internet repair and I get a call cable box is not working or I'm chilling uh, I'm missing a channel so I ask them is the streaming service or is the cable box and I look at their account as well so if they do not mention the streaming service then it's not my call to take I just simply uh, push the buttons and send them to tell them of course send them to cable guys but the call park the call is parked in the queue again for the next available agent in the video department calling policies so it's like um, uh, calling policy is like when you have to call back or call out so there are three options we do that like uh, if the person is about to reset their modem and they're <clears throat> they're calling from home phone obviously they're gonna lose the phone as well so either I get their uh, cell phone number and call them back um, you know while the modem is doing its thing or I tell them oh, okay they say I, I don't have a cell phone my home phone is my whole world send them though I then I get the phone number tell them hey okay your modem, modem gonna take five minutes to restart I'm gonna call you back in five minutes so do you allow them to call back this disallow calling what is make private calls everything is off that's why it's disabled so these are all the policies prevent toll bypass and send call through this busy on busy is available when in call call forwarding and simultaneous ringing to people in your organization so these are the policies that can be defined or uh, um, set or you know further define or you can add your very own name it and turn on and off whatever you want to do caller id policies so caller id is very important <clears throat> so caller id uh, when you get the call you see the their number sometime you don't see the number you just see a name so some people like when they receive we receive the call it's just their name most of the time it's the same phone number that's on the account but not i i like to verify if I don't see a number I ask them uh, what's the num callback number um, but on the other hand for this purpose when you are making out of the call uh, and maybe you got the phone number here and it's for you do you want your phone number to be shown on their end and they start making calls to you or you want just say for example if I, I have the number and I'm calling them back I don't want them to have my number so they can keep my phone is ringing for no reason directly like they say hey okay dial this number and get that agent no uh, let's have it the other way they see spectrum calling and you know they get the call from spectrum and they know that it is from spectrum and let me broaden it why in our so I can call back my leadership can call back my supervisor manager dispatch the field agents so you see five six people have different phone numbers they call them and each time they're gonna get either five six everybody's number 
or each time it's going to be spectrum so they know okay spectrum cares they call back and you know they go through a process and help us so what's the default policy block incoming caller id is off we can turn it on and then you know you have nothing override the caller id policy for only this or replace the caller id with the user's number service number and anonymous some people do call us with anonymous <laughs> in the end they have to give the number so you know because they know ah, okay if i lose this agent something happens call drop then i'm back in the queue and i'm on the hold for like 10 minutes probably nobody wants to wait so replace the caller id with this service number so this was the option like you can either put their company's number so whoever calls they get just get that number just in case like a company like ours because they're gonna call us uh, all the time i know um i like I'm, I'm not gonna say half of my calls but like uh, 33 to 40 percent like one third calls or more they are not service related they are device related everything is working fine i just bought a new computer i cannot connect i just bought a new phone i cannot connect uh, i bought the ring i bought the uh, security cameras i bought arlo i bought my own router like these are we are not supposed to help them with that but we have to like we do <clears throat> because they're gonna just keep calling us it's like uh, you don't <clears throat> well let's forget that uh, let's focus on this right all right so i have the policy packages we saw earlier than you know educational i really have no idea why this says educational policies let me see and this I re I'm, I'm gonna go and read in depth like i have to really search because everything is mentioned higher education or secondary education like uh, is it a metaphor or is like like as reference so we can do the manage user i don't want to go there analytics and reports i did not do wanted to do the reports just yet for skype so i'm gonna skip this over here as well but uh, these are the teams user because I first I want the team to be up and running user sending messages for a few days and then we can go and see all the reports right now it's gonna say nothing is there like earlier we saw up there user reports organization wide setting external access okay this is like exactly the same like um, Skype but this time they are just treating Skype for business and uh, as an external source Skype user yes they can so you at work can talk to your aunt and her cats I, I added the Macy's.com if you remember I added that in Skype probably yeah guest access do you allow guest access or not it's disabled off so do you want like outside of your organization people to access uh, teams and channels or not it's a good thing it's off. team settings notification feeds email integration smtp domain what kind of files can be sure dropbox box google drive obviously one drive is always already there we saw that so organization tabs in there yes it was we used it device this requires scanning form authentication access meeting content partial access these devices i think these are the special devices not your phone like i said earlier like they are introducing devices that have microsoft teams uh, in in them and are you always exchange address book policy can you search by name and what where are we in theme settings so let's come to teams upgrade your organization is already in teams we are happy what are the plan planning team advisor deploy workload that we saw 
So it's like deploying. I think this is about uh, like I did a few steps. So it says five for eight completed, five for seven completed. So it's like deploying. And what can be done? So if I go next, add members, team member. Service management, I don't want anybody right now. And what is the workload? Oh, workload is like they can share the back end with you. And this is again the team members. Let's go back. Back. Cancel. Discord. Organization information number 26, 2019, that it was created. And all that good stuff network planner what is the network planning so this network planner is like if you have um, if your team has different locations and you can do the network planning so team will analyze where they are what kind of uh, bandwidth they use and they're gonna start doing like they will give you an overview what you need to be done the calculation network requirement you need that what kind of network uh, you need to deploy the team across your different physical locations like uh, just in Ohio we have three locations so if uh, all three locations needs to collaborate then that's the thing legacy portal you will remember I logged in to get to the thing here right uh, to sky for business thing so call quality dashboard it was not showing us anything you need to log in in order to access this sign in and uh, we haven't made any calls yet so and first line work configuration again so call quality is still the wheel of death actually a customer called it he was calling us about the email and email servers were being upgraded so it was extremely slow for some of the customers and he said that hey it's the wheel of death it's going round and round and round in the end it was not uh, the service it was he was using a 10 year old mac and according to him mac is the best thing nothing happens to it blah 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 and it's our service so I checked everything I asked him can you give me the password so I can log in here I logged into his account just fine so I told him I could log in it's probably your Mac do you have another computer so he reluctantly tried a Windows machine and logged into his email just fine so but you see I'm on Windows I'm on a virtual machine and it's the wheel of death so <laughs> in his shoes I'm gonna say the same hey it's your team Microsoft Hub admin setting staff hub will be retired soon so you see another thing everything is going to teams uh, what's available here stuff staff hub Bing maps licensing I never heard about staff hub okay since it's retiring so it's up I think it's about scheduling so I did not see schedule there for the best experience try uploading your building data upload now <laughs> I think it's like your physical thing building browse at a file this one yep this is definitely beyond us uh, like admins it should be provided by the company what uh, they require and if they allow then you can upload it because <laughs> what I'm gonna um, I don't have access to my company's uh, building location right because you just work there um, doesn't matter if you're an admin of the system <clears throat> you don't have access to the company's uh, building data that somebody in the uh, it will not be uh, corporate 
it will be corporate or executive branch like they will actually uh, allow and then provide you so you can upload it so we can exit out of that and this is it so this was an overview of team admin center um, I'm gonna go and probably make more detailed videos uh, if I feel the need in while playing with it if this video has helped you please rate share comment and subscribe and you have a good night